So in this video we're going to tackle uh, the St. Petersburg Paradox. Okay, so this is the setup that you have. Uh, it's a gambling game, so uh, the player uh, 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 tosses a coin, and basically if they get, um, if you get a tails on the first, uh, in the, uh, if they get a uh, tails on the first throw, uh, they uh, get uh, two dollars, let's say. And then if they, uh, they toss it again, and if they get tails again, it goes up to four dollars. Um, if they get a heads on the next one, that's the end of their game. They get what they got before. So if they get something like, uh, if they get heads on the first roll, then that, that, that's very unlucky. They get nothing. If they get tails on the first roll, then it goes up to two dollars. Uh, but if they then get a head straight after that, uh, they then win just two dollars. If they go on, they get tails, tails, and then heads. Uh, then uh, they'll win four dollars. Tails, 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 heads. So basically, heads ends the game for them. That ends the game. That's oh, it's over after that. Um, but um, before that, the number of tails that precede you getting ahead, uh, the number, the amount you win is two to the number of heads, uh, number of tails that precede it. So I is equal to the number of tails preceding your first head, preceding first head. And the amount that you're going to win uh, is going to be 2 to the power of i. Uh, okay, uh, so obviously we can see that this is going to be geometrically, uh, this, sorry, this is going to be related to the geometric distribution. Uh, so the question is, what is the expected value uh, of um, money that you'll get uh, for, uh, what is your expected value for the, money, uh, for the amount of money you're going to get? Okay, so the way of doing this problem is saying, imagine we have a probability space. Now, uh, even though the game ends at heads, we're going to imagine that we flip the coin counted the infinitely many times. So even if you begin with a head, you still keep throwing it. You're going to you're going to get absolutely nothing because the game ended as soon as you got a head. But you go on anyway, so you get all of these outcomes. So you put in every possible outcome of throwing a coin, uh, of flipping a coin uh, counted the infinitely many times, and you put that all into this sample space. You then create a random variable x. Uh, which is going to be geometrically distributed, geometrically distributed, and we're going to say it's geometrically distributed a half, because the probability of getting ahead is a half, and uh, you're going to go on to um, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., up, and x is going to map any outcome, it's going to map it specifically onto the number of tails preceding the first head. First head. Now, uh, we could then uh, take the function which is going to take 2 to the power of x, and that is going to uh, tell you how much you would win, basically. Uh, so if you've got 0, well actually no, it's not 2 to the power of x, it's 2 to the power of x minus 1, is it? Oh dear, no, 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 it doesn't. Right, okay, we'll have to define it carefully. We'll define this function here to be, uh, we'll just define it to be y for now. Um, or we could define it to be x bar, basically. Uh, let's say x bar. Uh, so x bar is this new function which is going to map this one onto here, and it's going to map 0 onto 0 is the first thing I'm going to have to define. So x bar is going to map, um, it's going to map, uh, uh, let's say, some real number here. Let's call that a little x. It's going to map it onto uh, 0 if little x is equal to 0, and it's going to map it onto 2 to the power of um, x uh, if x is not equal to zero. So you win absolutely nothing uh, if you, um, uh, if you, in fact, let's make it simpler. Let's make it, um, let's make it two to the power of x if x is equal to whatever. Let's just make it equal to two to the power of x. So basically, if you lose first thing, you get ahead the first thing, you don't win nothing, you win one, one dollar. Then, then, it, then the maths becomes a lot simpler. Okay, so let's have this uh, this function, which is going to map our our numbers here onto how much you actually win. So if you had zero tails preceding your first head, then you win one dollar. If you have one tail preceding your first head, you win uh, two dollars, etc. Okay, so we want to ask what is the expected value of this? So what is the expected value of x bar composed with x, which we'll call this direct uh, random variable here. We'll call that y. What is the expected value of y? We'll go back to the definition. It's uh, the sum over every possible way value that y can take on 
of that little value of y times the probability that big Y is equal to little y. Well, the probability that big Y is equal to little y, uh, so firstly, what y's can you take on? You can take on all values of 2 to the x, where x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, etc. So we this becomes the sum x is equal to 0 to infinity of 2 to the x, because that's the value of y for all values of y. We're going to cover all values of y going through this times the probability that y is equal to 2 to the x. Okay, and the probability that y is equal to 2 to the x is the probability that x is equal to little x. Okay, um, so uh, we now have it in terms of x. 2 to the x, um, this thing becomes 2 to the x, that. Okay, and what is the probability that x is equal to little x? Well, this is distributed geometrically, uh, so uh, this is the probability mass function of the geometric distribution, which is uh, g arm half, which gives us a half to the power of x times a half. So it's equal to um, a half to the x, min uh, x plus 1. Uh, so it's equal to... Um, so if we plug that in, we get that it's equal to the sum from x is equal to 0 to infinity of 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of x plus 1, basically, which is the same thing as a half to the power of x plus 1. And this gives us the sum from x is equal to 0 to infinity of a half. Now, that series is not convergent. That series is divergent. It diverges off and has no limit. So we could write that this is equal to plus infinity. So our calculation is telling us that the expected value, the expected amount of money you will win if you play this game, is infinite. That doesn't sound too good. Um, we know that if we actually play this game, do you expect to win infinite, the amount, an infinite amount of money? Uh, so that's why this is a paradox.